Hello. All right. So I am doing the hashtag see a testimony, share a testimony. I was nominated by Simon. Um, and the testimony that I want to share today, well, first of all, I'm really excited about the, the fact that we're doing this because I think that it's um, really important to share the good things that God is doing in our lives because it not only builds us up by hearing back the things that God has done for us, but also it can be an encouragement to those around us. So I hope you guys will take a part. I don't normally do these kinds of things, but that's why I'm doing this one because I think it's important, uh, especially in this season. So the testimony that I want to share today um, is, happened a few years ago, um, actually more like six or seven years ago now. Um, I was in a time of severe financial crisis. Like when I say severe, I mean, I think I literally had about um, 30 or 40 cents to my name. Um, there was more in my account, but I couldn't withdraw it without actually like um, getting a fine um, in from my bank account. And so the only amount that I had to spend on groceries and rent, uh, et cetera, was about 40 cents. Um, and there was nothing coming in uh, for quite a while. Um, and uh, I just remember going to God so many times in that season going, Lord, what are you teaching me here? How how are you going to provide? Because you definitely have to be the one that is providing here. And um, every single, this was about like a, a few months that this lasted. Um, and every single uh, time that I needed food, one of my housemates, who they didn't know about this crisis, by the way, let me just say that. Like I, I was very quiet about um, what was happening. Um, and so they didn't know that I had such a significant need, but they would come to me on the weekends and say, Hey, I made too much, um, I made too much pasta and it will go bad <laughs> or too much something else and it's going to go bad. Um, it won't taste good, uh, you know, reheated. Do you want some? And I was like, Oh yeah, sure. You know, cool. <laughs> you know? Um, and inside I'm like, Oh my gosh, thank you, Lord. Like you're providing in a way that I didn't expect. Like I'm thinking, you know, growing up as a missionary kid that you're going to provide the finances that I need. And, uh, instead of just the finances, you're providing the actual need. Like you're, you're skipping a step and just going straight to the actual heart need, which is, uh, to see that he is a God of provision in all ways. Um, and then um, uh, that would just continue to happen like so much. Um, and then about, I think a month and a half into this, uh, my pastor gave um, uh, a sermon about the woman who gave two pennies um, and how her gift was more uh, significant than the rich man who gave two sacks of gold. Um, and uh, he talked about how we should be giving it from our own place of need uh, to um, to tithing and to offerings that God asked us to give to. Um, and so as the, the offering plate was going around, I felt a very strong word of the Lord that he told me to give um, the 30 some cents that I had. Um, and I rebelled so hard. I was like, Lord, <laughs> it's 30 cents. You know, every, everything that I could think of, you know, all the temptations or doubts that could come to you started coming to me. And so I was like, Lord, if I give this, uh, they're going to see it in the offering plate and think, oh my gosh, who gave 30 cents? And even though they'll never know it's me, I'm still going to know it was me. And I'm going to know that they were like, going to be like, oh, who would just give that little, you know? And so I really had a struggle with my pride. Um, and then the other part of me was like, Lord, I'm not giving this because uh, I could get at least one or two cones from Macca's, McDonald's, um, you know, the soft serve cones, because at the time that's how much they cost. And I was like, you know, it still felt like I had some kind of something that I could spend money on, even though literally I didn't have anything. Um, and still, I felt God insistently say, "But remember what I remember how how much I was pleased by the way I was giving." Um, and so I was like, "Okay, you know." I humbled myself, dug into my purse, and grabbed the two coins out of it and put it in the offering plate and passed it on, and just went, "Okay, Lord, I am completely at your mercy now. There is no." 
no security left, um, even though the security I had was pretty small. Um, and miraculously, the next week, I had somebody give a one-time donation of close to $1,000, uh, just out of the blue, completely unexpected. Uh, and it was just so cool to see that God was saying in that moment, when you give all to me, it allows me to open so much more doors. I think that that funding would have still come in if I hadn't been obedient, but it wouldn't have been as sweet to me to see God's provision in that moment. And so, yeah, so it's just kind of stuck with me ever since then of just how much God wants to be a God of provision in all ways, not just finances, but uh, with, you know, uh, wanting to give us good gifts, you know. Um, years on now from that experience, I, I technically have all of the comforts that any human could desire, and I'm still very much uh, in the world's eyes living under the poverty line. Um, but I have every need met for me, which when you consider what a gift that is, that I've got a roof over my head, you know, friends uh, right next to me, um, and all the amenities that I could want, uh, everything is right here. It's all been provided. Um, and that's just really sweet to know that God doesn't just provide the finances, but that he provides the things and the people that are so important to um, a full life. And so I hope that encourages you. I hope that uh, whatever you're facing right now, that um, that this testimony can be an encouragement of the faithfulness of God. And so, um, yeah, because I said I don't normally do this very often, um, uh, but I do think that it is important. And so I want to uh, go ahead and nominate Rosanna. Um, and I think I'd also like to nominate Katie. Um, and who else shall I nominate? I nominate Harmony. That's my hum nominations. God bless, guys. <laughs>